It's Black Lebec on the mic again. Didn't feel like commentating the other game because I don't understand how Yoshi works. But we got two pretty simple characters Fox and Ganon. Um, we got ZD, of course, repping the Fox. And we have Blade Knight repping the uh, Ganondorf. It's the Zack Darby. But here we are, game one on the classic uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. So, this is honestly going to be very miserable for Ganon, I imagine. This Fox just kind of runs circle around Ganon, but at the same time, Ganon definitely has the kill power to knock out Fox pretty early. And plus, he can actually go off stage and egg guard Fox. But as, as expected, right now the matchup, right now the match is uh, going in ZD's favor. Right now, now being able to get off stage, and I have never seen that. I was trying to read the shield drop, but unfortunately getting an elf smash before of it, and uh, ZD takes the first stop. had some stage control, but he needs just really any solid, like, uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, sometimes you just gotta walk up and door you off. but Azidi was ready for that. But right now, we got Blade Knight stuck at ledge, right where Fox really wants him. Oh, Blade Knight getting the throw, but again, and not really having a kill throw quite yet, and getting there to death, unfortunately. So Blade Knight kind of just really needs to start closing up his stock. Ooh, that was a, definitely a good read. If it was just slightly faster, he probably could have got that kill. But as I uh, as I say that, he does get the skill, so it's still nothing that Ganon definitely can't bring back. He definitely has the comeback factor and is more of a counterplay thing, but it just kind of sucks frame battle wise to, uh, for Ganon to deal with this. ZD is just running circles on him. Ooh, that was cute. So ZD taking game one. So I definitely think that the stage kind of had something to do. I think I feel like Fox has a lot of room to just run around and get past all of Ganon's nonsense. <laughs> So I do believe that uh, Boy Knight did say he wanted to play Smashville. It's definitely just smaller size, black zones, and uh, just a smaller stage in general. So here we are, game two. Ooh. Good movement. Kind of a classic game thing to uh, side B, or down B off stage to the to, uh, side B. And right now, this is going very well in uh, Blade Knight's favor. Oh, ZD on getting the drag down fair. An excellent trade if he knew he was going to die from it. But Blade Knight going for it all with that. So here we are. White Knight kind of just stuck on ledge right now. And the rolls have been reversed. ZD now keeping White Knight stuck on edge. But throwing him back into the center. Definitely just racking up enough damage. And so now I know an up smash or back air will definitely kill uh, again at this percent. Ooh, excellent catch on the tech. ZD's still not out of it, but. I'm I'm loving all these side B. <laughs> I think he was that definitely is really helping compared to the last game. He really couldn't land any of them, but he fortunately going for it all. But ZD with an excellent angle able to avoid that. So here we are, Blade Knight able to get off ledge. Ooh, that hit! <laughs> uh, 
I man hit him with the ha ha aerial. Let's go. Do you have one day? One day after Yeah, put that fox to sleep. So here we are now. We are on town and city. That's what Sage Fox likes again. As I mentioned, after the first game, a lot of space to just run around, so he doesn't really have to confront Ganon as often as uh, on a smaller stage. But also, still, the side blast zones I think are going to do a lot for Bloody Knight. Still able to close out those, uh, close out those stocks a lot easier. Ooh, getting me side B reads. Ooh, dingo for again, but I do like the back air. Not being ZD not able to punch the regrab. And now ZD is stuck at ledge. Oh, oh no. Oh, that is a great start from Bloody Knight. One thing Ganon definitely has is just a lot of fear, because honestly, even if ZD dropped that shield, he was definitely going to die from that up smash. The only hope was really parry. Ooh, what a good scoop. Oh, but unfortunately, getting a bit too close and not able to uh, get that there that he most likely wanted. And Blade Knight is kind of just running away with this right now. 80% is nothing to sleep on, especially for Ganon. <laughs> Ooh, excellent back air as a uh, Blade Knight just got a little too aggressive. Trying to read the uh, get off the platform. Uh oh. Ooh, untackable. Hit him with the pimp slap. Oh, ZD stringing some combos together. Still not out of this, really. But then, uh, Fox definitely can't bring back, and we know ZD is definitely capable of it. And, wow, the, this is this pacing is honestly just very scary for Blade Knight. Able to get off stage with that Nair, though. Still living, getting the thick boy. So, right now, and this is scary. ZD brought that back after being down, <laughs> almost getting lapped on the second stock. But this is what makes this matchup very scary for Ganon. Just getting combo to death is honestly the worst part. Ganon does not have a good disadvantage state at all. So here we are back on ledge. Get up attack and get back on. Now, honestly, this is still... This is basically even still. Ganon definitely does have a slight edge in terms of kill power, though. Oh, Boy Knight trying to read uh, a cross up with the back air. And now ZD off stage, missing the back air and closing it out with the F smash. And Z ZD taking that two one. You were you had, you were so close, man. See, you just had to believe. You did so well. <laughs> D-D-D, <laughs> <D>. William. <laughs>